Hello! Hi, everybody! How is everyone doing? Okay, hold on, let me cut the music. Let's get to business! Hello, 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 hello. Today, hopefully, we can finish Fairy Gala event. Today, hopefully, hopefully, I'm hoping. Also, wait, hold on. Let me just check one quick thing before I didn't, I didn't get a chance to check. Is the Ortho and Idia banner out? Yes! Okay, so after we're done with the event, we're gonna... We're gonna pull. 100%. Because <laughs> I really, 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 really need Idia in my uh, group. He would make my life so much easier if he just came home, but we'll see. Okay. Um... I guess I'll just jump right into it, right? The star of the show. That is chapter 15. That's cool. Hopefully I have enough uh, potions. If not, then maybe yeah. I really can't stay long. I'm in the middle of my math class. No! Okay. It's okay. But good luck on your math class. <laughs> you don't have to stay here if you're like busy at school. I feel bad if you are here. Okay. How was it? A lot smoother than the first time, I'll say that. You seem totally in control. How'd you come up with those poses? I've compiled online over the years. Hola, hola Sly, what's up? Okay. I took the top 10 highest reviewed fashion shows held by leading name brands. Ooh. Then I replicated the motions of the models in the most spectacular moments and the ones with the loudest applause. I copied every possible detail from the tilt of their head to the height they raised their limbs to the angles of their fingers. Damn. If I could do that in life too, that'd be crazy. That life would be so much easier if I could just compile that. Okay. I see, no wonder. We demonstrated supple arm motions, agile footwork, and impeccable timing. It was flawless. Wow, thank you. But that's all it was. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh god, Bill, here he goes. Otherwise, dreadfully dull. Not stirring in the slightest. What? You're calling me dull? That can't be right. I recreated the movements of the people who got rousing applause, and I did so with complete accuracy. Yes, recreated being the operative word. There's nothing less worthy of anyone's time than an unoriginal show. This is AI art in a nutshell. Okay, but how do you create something original? Any answer to that question from another person would not be something original from you. It would be original from them. Damn. <laughs> He's making ortho work, bruh. And more to the point, imitating something else the exact opposite of evolution. You're the star of the show. You have to be more involved than anyone else in the room. Damn, the pressure. What do you consider beautiful, ortho? What is evolution to you? I want to hear your thoughts on the matter. Don't just parrot something you found online. <laughs> My thoughts. Originality. Now Ortho is struggling to come up with an answer? When you put it like that, of course Ortho's gonna struggle to come up with an answer, yeah. Okay, I'm officially worried. I'm not sure we can pull this off. <laughs> oh god. One, two, one, two. Oh, here we go. One, two. Nicely done. Your movements have gone stiff as a board to supple as a sapling. That's some way to put it, I guess. No. Oh. What's wrong? Most people don't fret when I give them a compliment. I'm worried about Ortho. Aww. He walked out looking really glum and he hasn't been back since. Ortho, a full-fledged student now. We're all equals. You don't have to be so overprotective. I have a doubt in my mind that he'll craft a performance unique to him. Aw, oh, he's trusted Ortho, oh my gosh. But this is definitely Ortho's first time doing this kind of mission. Of course he'd be at a loss. You may look aloof, but you're a regular old busybody, aren't you? I'm not worried. After all, our rather thoughtful classmates with him. Aw, really? Oh, hey, now that you mention it, Ace left the ballroom when we were practicing. Where'd he go? Boys, you don't have time to worry about others. You've improved, but you're still effectively sponge gourds, attempting to grow into full-sized melons. If you don't have time to chat, you have time to train. Your next task is to do a leg hold for an hour straight? 
Nah, nah, he's crazy. <laughs> right, okay, alright. And they're completely fine with it? Okay. <laughs> An hour straight, bro? No. Okay. Foreign concept. My own idea of evolution. There you are, dude. You gotta reply to your magic DMs. Oh, Ace Traplo, what brings you here? Uh, what do you think? You haven't had com you hadn't come back yet. Hold on, just thinking. What would be the equivalent of TikTok in Twisted Wonderland or Twitch? Mitch, I no, that that would be TikTok could be. Maggie talk, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really creative. Okay. And now I find you in the library mumbling to yourself. A you guy's gotta get a little worried. I apologize. I've been thinking about what Vil uh, Snoit told me. I knew you'd be fretting about that. The glum look on your face spoke volumes. I tried searching different keywords and phrases, but I haven't found any good ideas. So I thought I'd go to the library and see if I could get hit a hint the analog way. But I've scanned every notable set of books here, and yet I'm no closer to answering Phil's questions. Originality is just the most foreign concept there is to a technomatic humanoid. I'm not sure what to do next. What if you talk to Idia? Why him? Come on, you know he's the most innovative thinker on campus. If anything, he's a little too innovative. I mean, he attends class via the tablet thing. <laughs> I don't think that's about innovation for him. Anywho, idiot built you, right? Wouldn't he know a thing or two about how original you can be? Why worry yourself in circles when you can just talk to him? You'll two bang out a solution in no time. But I... I... I want to challenge myself. I don't want my brother to tell me what I should think. Oh, I gotta go. Okay, bye. Um, I don't want my brother to tell me what I should think. I want to find what evolution means to me. That is important. Sorry if you're making you worry. I promise I won't make the group's job any harder. So please, just give me a little more time to think. Oh. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd say that. You did? We haven't been schoolmates that long, but it wasn't hard to guess. Pretty much everyone at Night Raven College refuses to back down once they commit to something. True, everybody here is so stubborn. Even you, you is also really stubborn. Ace. Fine, I guess I'll call in some backup. You will? Yep, come on, I know the place for us to meet up. Okie okay, dokie okay, dokie. Okay. okay. Ramshackle door. This is seriously the place you had in mind? It looks like the same old dank dim, definitely striking, <laughs> skirting some health codes, ramshackle tournament. Are we that <laughs> bad town bad? I, look, it looks nice. We have curtains. I've never seen that before. Uh, we have like framed paintings. You know what I mean? I think we, we, we're we pretty good. We're doing good. <laughs> look, it's big and empty. Perfect hangout spot though, right? Though you're not wrong about the atmosphere. Bro, what? This is the nicest I've ever seen a ramshackle door when you guys are crapping on it. How rude can you get? You can stand to be a little politer seeing as the Great Grim's lending you a room. Sorry, it's so dark and dim. It's a lot nicer than- Yeah! It's a lot nicer than it used to be. You, Grim, hello there. Are you two my backup? Wouldn't be much backup if it was just the two of them, so I called in a few others. They're already here, the group's waiting. Ooh. Ooh. Who are you talking about? Hey, Ortho, we've been waiting for you. Ah! Wow, so the room is virtual. You look like a real fairy. It's almost feels like the old um, dance team is back again together. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, it's Du Spade and Appel from here. Man, Ace, took you long enough to get him here. Pfft, don't act all annoyed. Not like you've got anything better to do. Rude, and also wrong. I've got catching up to do. I couldn't find last night's prep study before class today. Oh, damn. Well, if Deuce has to review er prep, then we should probably start discussing stuff. What stuff? 
let's talk about evolution, let's talk about originality, because he's struggling with that. Okay, what? Originality? Oh, each chapter must have filled you in on what's going on. Yeah, I'm stuck on the concept of originality right now. If you're all bringing it up, does that mean you're prepared to have an engaging discussion? About a problem I couldn't solve no matter how much data I utilized? Well, when you put it like that, I'm feeling a lot less confident speaking about it. This is why I put together a group, you guys. Surely this many weirdos can brainstorm at least one decent idea. No, Ace, we're all sharing one brain cell. There's no hope for us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But that wouldn't be an evolution on my part, would it? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Marhaban. Hey, there's a huge difference between someone telling you the answer and someone giving you a hint to help you figure it out. Besides, something original ideas come from hearing other people's views. Now that you mention it, Idiot says simulation is what drives him to make something new. Mm -hmm. Okay, where are we going with this? I have no idea where we're going with this. <laughs> and that inspiration can come from anything, from everyday inconveniences, inconveniences to completely wild and absurd events. Okay. I guess all that technically counts as outside influence. Yeah, there you go. But it is it okay to ask for all of you to help? You've got nothing to do with Fairy Gala. Oh, they've got everything to do with it. We're trying to get the campus back to normal, remember? That's right, it's so dry in my room now. Just breathing makes me want to pass out. Oh, I'm so bad. Okay. We can't carry on like this. Yeah, we want to help, Ortho. There, see? Why should we do all the work? Let's take advantage of their offer. Wow, guys. Oh, he got a cold? Huh? Sounds like someone else is here. Did he just vibrate or did someone ring the doorbell? I, I cannot tell. A clear place. Alright, Did you ask anyone else to join us? Nope, just Deuce and Appel. Just ignore it then. It's probably someone selling something. <laughs> in this campus? There are there's salespeople in the um, campus? What? <laughs> Excuse me, it's proper memories to answer the door when someone rings the bell. Oh, it's the Beck and Jack. Somehow, I doubt they want to hear about matters from a guy who just barges in before anyone answers the door. Pax. <laughs> okay. Hello, Sebek. And hi again, Jacko. Um. Come on in. Why not? <laughs> Indeed, I've done just that. Is your training over? You're on break. Silver said he needed to do something and marched out with a serious look on his face. So I went for a run to clear my head and just happened to come this way. I wasn't looking for Ortho and Ace, okay? This is just a total coincidence, that's all. It is. Sure, whatever you say. So Jack, how was on break? Wait. Then what are you doing here, Sebek? You were mashing the doorbell pretty hard. Is there something urgent? I wouldn't call it urgent, per se. He was just pacing non-stop in front of Ramshackle's gate until I went over to him. Seriously? He kept glancing at the dorm, all sneaky-like, while going back and forth. Hey, don't go casing my dorm. Casing? I resent that. Don't put me on your level. <laughs> I was just, um... That is to say... What's this now? Were you looking for us? You refused house warrants, riddles, requests, but you just couldn't let it go, huh? Come on, admit it. What request? Oh, right. The Riddle Riddle asked you to take part in the Fairy Gala, but you said no. But you were still worried about us, so you came by to check on us. Thank you. No, I am no means worried by anyone. I simply heard from Silver that you hit a stumbling block and I came to tell you something. You cannot possibly expect to succeed at the fairy gala with no knowledge of the fae. Okay. I thought you deserved to know how foolhardy your plan was. Don't mistake my intentions. I am not here to help. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> foolhardly, huh? Yeah, you're right about that. That's why we need to brainstorm more. We don't have much time, so... Could you leave now? Uh, uh, huh? What's wrong? Don't grumble when you know he's right and doesn't mean anything by it. D Dios Munia is in dire straits right now. The students are freezing and huddling together for warmth. 
If your mission doesn't succeed, the repercussions will definitely affect Malice and Ilya. Don't you mean you? Because you're really bad at the quotes of it. Hence, I shall lend you uneducated humans my aid. Um... So you are helping us is totally cool to <laughs> Wow, really? Thank you, Sebek. Uh, we don't actually need your input, you know. But if you're so moved to help, I guess I could let you stick around. Hmm. Protest all you like, but I'm sure deep down, you were hoping I'd show up. I heard about all your struggles. You're welcome to weep with joy at my magnanimity. Okay. Dude, seriously? You show up this late in the game and this is how you act? Hey, you! Give this guy the boo! Oh. So many of my fellow freshmen here just to help me. <laughs> the drama hasn't been solved and our probability of success hasn't gone up. And for some reason, I'm feeling like things are gonna work out. Thanks, guys. I'm so glad you're here. So sweet of them all for all of them to show up. Okay. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> Alright. Oh. So what do the Galafairies mean by evolution anyway? The word has many different definitions and usages, but for our purposes, it means advancement, growth, and change. The reasoning behind using freshmen is because we evoke the potential for future advancement. Yeah, and not because <laughs> Leona was too lazy and Riddle got mad at Leona. <laughs> not at that at all. Okay. And Vil handpicked Ortho because he especially represents a the theme. Okay, that one is fair. Reasoning. Okay. He was like, Ortho's the evolutionist of them all. And I'm like, <laughs> evolutionist? Okay. Wow, Vil picked you personally? Nice going, Ortho. Yep, I was flattered too. But now I don't understand how I represent evolution. I applied my skill set, compiled the data, and gave a performance with the highest probability of success. But Vil told me to come up with an original form of expression, something of my very own, not copied from someone else. Mmm, Vil can make some pretty big demands. <laughs> they're not big. They're, they're an impossible, if I'll... Okay. Right? He just flat out cold Ortho's work dreadfully dull. I totally winced I heard that. Yeah, yeah, and that's not hard to imagine. bill has got pretty high standards, both for others and himself. True. True. He's definitely demanding, not to mention ruthless and intimidate, intimidating, but he never says things on a whim. What kind of show does he want to put on Ortho? He's asking for someone, something stirring, a show that will make the audience want to be a part of it. But I don't really get what stirring means. Um, uh, well, usually when they say that, it means with heart. So, good luck, Ortho. <laughs> Does, is it canon that he has a heart? I'm not sure. I, I, I never, I never fish finished book six. So I'm like on chapter 67, so I have no idea what what's going on with Ortho here. <laughs> okay. Everyone feels things differently. I can see why it'd be hard to come up with a good answer there. Uh, what makes you all feel that way? It means you get real excited, right? You're asking us? For me, it's when I'm riding a blast- a blast cycle. I want to say motorcycle so <laughs> bad. Nothing beats the thrill of blasting down the road so fast the scenery becomes a blur. And when I get through a tight turn, it makes me want to jump up and down with excitement. Oh yeah, I feel that way when I see blast cycles too. I can't ride one like Deuce, but when I see a cycle that's all flashy and silk... Slick? Not silk? Oh my god. <laughs> I just want to know how it ch chass handles on the road. Okay. I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Me too, Sebae. <laughs> You got me, right, you? Um... Oh, you know, oh yeah, totally, I'll lie. I'll lie and make him feel better. <laughs> so to summarize your viewpoints, you get excited when you see something flashy. Biological creatures do tend to be drawn to eye-catching things. Yep, yep, me. <laughs> That's me. Like, with certain species of birds, they plum their plumage and dances are meant to be to attract the opposite sex. Ooh, fun fact, did you know eagles? When they have like a they have like a courtship ritual, I saw it like on 
like social media, like the two eagles, they hold their talons together and then they just twirl down. It's so romantic. That has to be like the most romantic thing ever. Hi, hey Zumba, we'll end in an hour. Anyway, I saw your YouTube and love the videos. It was that was missed. Oh, hi! Long time no see, and thank you. That means a lot. I'm glad you liked my videos. And thanks for showing up today. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds like we gotta trick you out. Should we put some string lights on him? Or what about dragon and tiger? What? <laughs> what is foreign painting? Oh gosh, they're gonna decorate him like a car? <laughs> you should do none of that! I, oh. Fey are sensitive, refined creatures. That much should be obvious when you look at Malleus. Really? <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> Everyone's so confused. They're like, what is he saying about Malleus? That's not true. Don't give me those blank stares. It would be a mistake to assume that Fey and humans share the same sensibilities. Ah, uh, but lights and decals look so cool. For the record, not every human thinks that. But the idea of adding a little more or orientation isn't entirely off base. Drew and all Faye do enjoy flower things. They do? They always there will always be exceptions, of course, but you'll find it's true for the vast majority of gala attendees. Ooh. That information wasn't in any of my books or data. I'll be using the stream to make the gym's music less loud. Anyway, I'll subscribe to your YouTube channel. Oh, thank you! And okay, I'll try to be louder than the gym music for you. <laughs> okay. You really do know a lot about Faye, Sebek uh, Zigovolt. Boy, am I glad you're here. Hey, you should be. Oh, you're so smug. <laughs> okay. As for what flowery thing the Gala Fairies like most, well, that would be spring. Those fairies consider ushering and spring to be their most sacred of duties. True. Hold up, I know the fairy gals a party to usher in spring and all, but wouldn't it just happen anyway if we waited? <sighs> oh, Jack, I have no words. You are woefully uneducated. Oh my god. Hey, yo. <laughs> Chill. You clearly have plenty of words, which you're yelling at full volume. Man, you get all my last nerve. <laughs> Why do you think nature's so beautiful? Who do you think changes the scenery as the season comes and goes? Spring happens because the fairies of Feyland melt the snow that falls in the winter. You know, every time when they think they talk about like the fairies in spring, I keep thinking about that Selena Gomez song. I forgot the name of it. But she was singing in that Tinkerbell movie and I loved it. Right, we were at the ones shopping on Leona when they wanted help from the biggest one. Right? <laughs> I suspect, I suspect your outfits are white to evoke the winter snow. And then you're adorned with budding flowers and springtime creatures suggested of the seasonal route. Oh my god, I never thought about that. Okay. I dare say Professor Crow was aware of fey tendencies when he designed them. Which means absolutely no string lights. Okay, whatever you say. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're so depressed. You can decorate Ortho like a car any other time, do Sinapel, I promise you. So Professor Krell's familiar with what Faye like, huh? He sure knows his stuff. Vil was really impressed too. He was talking about how the white fabric represented the future or something. I don't remember the details. I've heard that Feylanders all wear white in their infancy. So yes, the white also serves to symbolize the future. Oh, I get it. That's why our outfits are entirely white and metallic, even the flowers. I was kind of wondering why we weren't wearing something more colorful with all these flowers. The white snow gives away to color as the fairies make the flowers bloom. It's truly a beautiful concept. <laughs> oh my god. He's, he's acting... I've never seen Zebek like this. The only time I've ever seen him act like this was when he's talking about Malleus. <laughs> oh my gosh. The white snow gives way to color? Yeah. The fairies' hearts stir when the snow smells snow melts and buds blossom into flowers okay white snow blossoming heart stringing stirring thank you for the follows you guys <clears throat> change and growth something only i can do that's it whoa geez way to scare a guy ortho i think i have an idea huh what's the idea what's the idea 
something that screams evolution, something that screams original. Well, we're talking about evolution a lot, so let's just say that. Yeah, wanna hear it? Okay, so to start with. Yeah, I get it. That'd be a flower performance art. What? Why would they skip over? I wanna know. Let me in. Let me not. What was the plan, you guys? Definitely fits the theme. What's the theme? What is it? Something only you can do. What is <laughs> I hate when they do this, bro. Oh my god. The other time I see Sebek like this is at Endless Halloween. Yeah, that time too, yeah. And it's very original. Okay, whatever it is, I, I guess I'll never know. Damn. What do you think, Sebek? I think it would make the fairies more most eager to take part in your show. Excellent idea! You've earned my praise! Okay. What is it, bro? Dude, this ego could fill a bus. <laughs> I don't know, though. Can you really pull it off? You used a bunch of words I've never heard before. The explanation alone made it sound really tricky. Tricky, tricky. You're right. That, you're right. That if I go with this ideal, I'll need to be very thorough with my prep. There's no way I could be ready by showtime tomorrow if I did all of it myself. Which brings me to my next idea. Getting help from all of you. Okay, dokie. Aw, man, I don't want to. <laughs> Already? <laughs> Come on. Come on, Grim. Let's do this all together. There might be something in it for you. Because I know he's very selfish. He's a cat. See, that's why I'm talking about. I'm already putting in overtime here. The guys who wrote me into this are going to pay up big time later. Okay, guys, let's make this a real showstopper. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Starting soon with Beatback and I. Okay, bye! Good luck! Hang in there! See you then! Oh, chapter name, that's fitting. What a coincidence. Okay. <clears throat> Why is it the middle of the night? Snork, mom, what? Oh, everyone's sleeping. Was he snoring? <laughs> That's I was so confused. Okay. Everyone's conked out. Jack didn't even make it to midnight. He's a sound sleeper, alright. I'll be awake. I'm usually awake most of the time at night. How are things going, Ortho? Everything looking good? Yep, it'll be perfect this time. And I've got timing down pat. Down pat, you guys. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without everyone's help. Thanks so much. Don't thank us yet. First, we have to see if Vil gives it a thumbs up. Vil? One, two, one, two. <laughs> no! <laughs> he has nightmares! No! Oh my god, I feel so bad for Jack. <laughs> oh, he's having a nightmare. Must have been some serious training. Oh my god, imagine hearing your teacher's name and immediately, like, in your sleep, start training. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wouldn't want Jack, Hal, and Silver's hard work to go to waste. Hey, I think you're forgetting someone here. What about the guy who's got the critical role of getting the queen up onto stage? <laughs> yes, you too. Guys, I'm gonna make our show a success. You can count on it. Fashion show. Uh, sorry, I'll do better next time. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> He's tortured. That man is tortured. That's what he is. Okay. It's finally time for the gala. Are your pups ready to go? Ooh. Yes, sir. I already put fairy dust on my body, too. The dust making the air all sparkly. Jack's so big and ripped, he wouldn't make a very convincing fairy. <laughs> Let's dump more, more of that stuff on him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Shoot. Hey, knock it off! If anyone here would be a lousy fairy, it's you. Nah, oh. no, Ace gives fairy vibes. The annoying kind, you know what I mean? But like a pixie. Like a pixie vibe. Yeah. This is not the time for a locker room and, and antics. You don't seem to have the appropriate level of seriousness, seriousness right now. I don't. At all. Don't worry. I solemnly swear I'll ensure our access and get the school back to normal. As you should. While you're out gallivating, Ortho was burning the midnight oil to improve the show. Since you're our sophomore, I expect you to give him your full support. And while this goes without saying, as Briar Valley's resident, you better not do anything that would reflect poorly on Malice and Lilia. Oh. Uh, good luck you can do it. The school's riding on you guys. Oh my gosh, I hope they do good. 
Thanks, your support is very encouraging. We'll be winning the show through a feed from one of Idia's drones. Oh. Okay, they're gonna do that again. Be aware that I'll be absorbing as well. Ace, I expect you to pull your weight. Oh my god, the pressure, Riddle. You better not disappoint me, Jack. Oh, I'm just worried. Extremely worried. Oh, that's different from them too. I keep asking Ortho for fashion show deets, but all he says is leave it to us. Hi, I never get the notification for when you go live. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll maybe I have to turn them on my end. I'll see. But hi, thanks for coming. <clears throat> if the choice is between missing out on spring and putting Ortho in danger, I skip spring every time. We can still call this off, you know. Don't worry, Idia. Um, I'll show you something only I can do. You better not miss a second. Ortho. See you after the show. I feel so... Aww. Idia's so worried about Ortho. Right, see you then. Okay. I wanna know what's gonna happen, bro. Best possible start. Okay, let's see here. You didn't fill me in on the deets. Okay. The fairy gal is just up ahead in the botanical garden. Everyone past this point will be fairies. We need to keep the right mindset. If we view them as our kin, our good faith will shine through. Right. Oh, who's that? Whoa, check out the entrance. They really are very standing around. Hmm? They're just tinging. Tingling. Ooh. Ting ting. Okay. Tingling ting ting. Okay. Uh, Ortho, I'm getting a bad feeling here. Are they doing what I think they're doing? Yes, definitely. The fairies are conversing in their own language! <laughs> I mean, yeah. What? You mean all those little bell chimes are them talking? Judging from the timing of the rings, where they are looking, and their, dir their actions, I'd say they're communicating. They're talking to the fairies going in. If we can't speak their language, our cover will be blown right away. Ting ting. Ah, uh, we made eye contact. She's coming this way! Installing fairy language. <laughs> Error. The data is too fragmented. I can't tell which exact language they're using. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna crash and burn before we even get to the gal. Okay. Calm down. We have Silver, right? He could speak, maybe? Not to worry? Okay, thank god. Ooh. Tink, tink. <laughs> I didn't expect for him to actually also make bell noises. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Ting ting ding ding. <laughs> Dingling ding. <laughs> what, what, it reminds me of that song. Boom boom. No. What was that name of that song? Wacko wacko boom boom. No. No, I forgot. I forgot. It reminds me of a song that would make random noises. It's a really old song, too. Wow, Silver Speaking Fae. How did you do that? I have some for the rest of you as well. Take these. What's that? Is this a bell? It's a translator. It converts what we say into the Gala Fairy's language. Calling their language Fey is too broad. The Fey speak a number of different languages. Larger fairies require specialized translators to converse with smaller fairies. I had a feeling we need these, so I brought enough for all of us. Makes sense. You did mention that fairies could be harsh without with outsiders. You can't just pick up translators at a moment's notice, though. It must have been hard getting all of these. If our plan fails, it will create a long-lasting hostility between humans and fairies. That must never come to pass. I thought about when we need to ensure that everyone would be happy together, and decided to focus on obtaining these. Have you been saving for Gala or Ignahide cards? Ignahide cards! I'm actually going to pull on the Ignahide banner right after I finish this event story, so... Hopefully, uh, you know what, I'm not gonna say who I want, because every time I, I say who I want, I never get them, especially on stream, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up. Thanks for the follow, Nova. Okay. It's no different than all the work you did back at Ramshackle. I've never met anyone who could talk about everyone being happy together with a straight face. Dang. <laughs> Ace is shocked. Thanks for the silver. 
Okay, I'll just use this and tingling. Oh my gosh, his his pitch is so much higher. Uh, ting ting, welcome to the fairy gala. I never seen your fair folk before. You must come from very far off. I hope you have a grand time. Believe me, we plan to. Thanks to Silver, we made it in without any problems. Oh my gosh. Rare, rare Jack Smirk. Hold on. <clears throat> Just gotta... That. There we go. Done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the best possible start a guy could ask for. <laughs> All they're grinning together. Cute. Okay. This background looks the same as the first one. I thought it would be different, but I guess not, huh? The whole place looks so fancy and it's full of flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. Fairies really do like flowers, huh? Sebek Segobol was right. Hey, look, way in the back. Oh. She got two wooden fairies. I guess they're supposed to be spring. That's her right there with the staff. The fairy queen. Every time I play Fairy Gala, it makes me want to watch uh, Tinkerbell so bad. Probably will. Requirements! 150 Remix? Does that mean I have to play these? Okay. Do, do I get the same amount if I don't play? I don't know. If I like fail all the notes, I feel like I'll still get the same amount of I kinda don't wanna risk it, so I'll just do whatever. I totally forgot you were supposed to grind for these tools. Ah! I don't wanna spend most of my stream grinding on these. Wouldn't that be more? Okay. I really wish the rhythm aspect. Honest, having like lyrics and songs would make this much more better. Which is why I like uh, all the two students in the I got Ortho's dorm card and I thought it was, I was going to get any of it because I did it differently. But I got a freaking deuce. No! I don't think I have all the hearts you build though. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember I, um, who came home when I wanted idea? Oh, it was, uh, Jade. Jade. I was so upset. I was like, why? Why you? Okay, did I meet the requirements? What was it again? 150, I think. Alright, so I just need like 45 more. I know my math. <laughs> hey, dance! Also, hello again, friend. Hi, Zombie Crown, what's up? I got both Fairy Gala Ortho and Ace in my first Fairy Gala Tenfold. Hi, hi! Oh my gosh. I could not read chat. It's, I thought it was, I was able to do it. But Actually, you know what? Let me, let me, let me see if I don't do anything like at the same reward. It's just a, as an expert, even though it's a waste of, uh, potion things. I just gave a fight with the Scarlet Heart earlier today. Uh, uh, oh, question. When did you pull for Ortho Fair Gala? Because I have this theory, and I've shared this theory before, I think. I don't know, over here, or somewhere else. But, if, if, did you pull it on the first day it came out, or like, very recent to when it was released? Because I find that if you pull closer to the release date of the banner, you're more likely to get the card. Do you know what I mean? 
Th at least that's my experience. Right. So, did you get Ortho Gala card? Oh, wait, no, you said earlier today. Oh my god, I'm so glad. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I fall on a fellow's birthday. Oh, okay. Ace, Bill, and Cruel are giving you disappointed looks. Well, I got a C, and that's fine. I'm. I'm, you know, I'm slacking. It's okay. <laughs> I, I, I got an SS. I can slack. Hey, I got 38 pins. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, the multiplier doesn't really work at all. Okay. Right? Maybe, maybe not. 94 misses, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you'll succeed if you, you know, C's get degrees, you guys. <laughs> You don't have to play the like, rhythm games, you don't really want to, you'll still get through the story. Right, now, now let me, let me like, try I guess. Let's see if the reward is different if I actually try. If it's not, then this game's a... I don't know. It's not You gotta put in effort to get the most remix pins. You also got the extra pins and complete missions that go with the twist tunes. Like getting a high combo gives you some more pins. And I think some gems. Ooh, really? Let me see. No, I got the same thing. 30 30. Hmm. Okay, well, I already got. I passed the requirement, so. Oh, I, if I do complete the missions, though, I do get more. I'm gonna just do the chapter 21 and see where we go from there. Okay, don't even blink. Is this chapter gonna get intense? Okay, let's go over the plan one last time. See, limited time mission completed. Oh, yeah! Okay, right. We invited the Fairy Queen onto the runway, and Team Ortho performs the illusion. It's time to shine, baby! Yeah! While the audience is focused on that, I switch out the staff for a fake. That's right. And for all of this to work, we have to put on a show so amazing that Her Majesty will want to join us on stage. And that's Operation Elusive Evolution. Perf yeah. <laughs> okay. In a nutshell, Silver, Jack Howell, are you two all set? Yes, let's do this just like we practice. I just realized Silver does not have a last name. Huh. How come I didn't realize this up until now? Okay. I'm counting on you guys. Alright, here we go. I'm really excited to see how you react to Walker's Revolution. I. Me too. Okay. And next up, entry number 14. We got a group of first timers here. Ooh, for everyone, who's the one character that always comes home when you want someone else? For me, it's uh, 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 Floyd and Jamil. I, I actually maxed out Jamil when I was trying to get Kaleem. I was so upset. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so if it doesn't technically have a last name, but he is Lilia's son. True, true, true. Okay. Let's give it up for group. Huh? <laughs> Group, huh? <laughs> I'm still business to to <laughs> What was that? <laughs> they asked me for a group name, so I put down all of our class and seat numbers. You couldn't have gone with initials? <laughs> you memorized our seat numbers? I'm impressed. 
I love silver finds like the silver lining in anything and everything. Okay. Uh, huh? Is my translator broken? Is that supposed to be some kind of spell? <laughs> Um, well, it threw the fairies for a loop. Not sure I'd call that impressive, but, eh, not a deal breaker. It's pun intended. Oh, I didn't even realize I made a pun on by saying silver lining. Oh my god, you're so... <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I did that on purpose, you guys. <laughs> Let's get this done. Alright. Okay. Oh, look, a fairy stepped onto the end of the unray. Oh my god, what he's gonna do? Oh. Hello, all you fairy folk out there! Oh my god. I- Ace is such- I just realized this now. Ace is such a performer. Like, he's like a per- You know what I mean? Like, he's- He gives off magician performer vibes that you would see in Disneyland or something. Like, 100%. Okay. I don't think there's anyone I get when I want someone else, but I always hope I don't get Kate or- oh. He's just not that interesting in my opinion. No, Kayler is interesting. You know, he has a lot of depression. Once you get through all that, you'll you'll understand his character. <laughs> his way of speech. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We've got something real special for you today. A miraculous illusion that you'll see that you'll only ever see right here. Oh my god. Allow us to show you a magical world without using magic. Huh? An illusion? I thought this was a fashion show. <laughs> right? Oh my god. <laughs> it's so early 2000s somewhere on Instagram. Yeah, that's funny. I like it when like they say like stuff like, well they haven't said it yet, but they, like Pog, or oh my god, an L, take that L, you know what I mean? That's funny to me. <laughs> what are they going to do? <clears throat> Lecture hall? Oh, is this a flashback? Meanwhile, at the school- Oh, okay. No, it's just another point of view. Hello, all you fair folk out there. We've got something real special for you today. There they are. So Ace is running the show. He looks right at home up there. He can definitely talk the talk, at least. He is a performer, you guys! Ace is a performer! You don't understand. Okay, look at how eagerly the audience is listening. He's already got his hooks into them. Wait, I thought this was a fashion show. How are there hooks? Oh, that smooth talk, it won't matter if the fashion show falls apart, falls flat. <laughs> What's ortho plan? Ah, I can't, this was just too much, I can't watch. What's all this yapping? If you really can't stand it, then turn off your tablet and take a nap and stop bothering us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would be unbearably stressful too. <laughs> ortho showed me his poor performance today, you know. It came barging into Palm Fior earlier this morning, shouting, I did it! He shook me awake and ruined my beauty sleep. <laughs> Aww. Okay, and how was the performance? You'll see soon enough. Just shut up and watch. Damn. <laughs> it is that one dude you can't take to the movie theaters, bro. He's like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? <laughs> Why are you all acting like such know-it-alls? We're simply saying you should expect the best. Don't you have any faith in Ortho? What? Obviously I do. I know better than anyone how incredibly exceptional he is. Then let's hear some encouragement. Oh, poor idiot. Go get him, Ortho. You big bro knows you can do- Oh my god, this is so awesome! <gasps> <gasps> <clears throat> Sorry guys, I just had the fit going there. <laughs> oh, I'm giving you all a fair warning. Don't even blink during this next part. You don't want to miss one second of the miracle you're about to witness. Now, it's time for the show of the century! And it's to be to continue- Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! The runway changed into a river. Oh. Silver, Jack Howell, let's get moving! Oh shoot, is it rhythm time? Ah! I wanted to read your comments. Okay. Oh my god, it's so bright! My eyes! Feels like I'm outside in the real world! <laughs> oh my god, the music! 
music. This is a remix, literally. <gasps> what the hell? Is that Orphan? Is it just, he, he, he wasn't the same color the entire time, was he? I didn't even know he could turn that color. Oh my god! That's flowers around him. Oh, the flower drones he was talking about. Oh my god! He went from silver to gold! Ah! Ah. So pretty! He turned pink, he's pink, evolution time, baby. He's beautiful, living his best life, a real majestic little guy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Revolution, he's so pretty. So is that his, that's his groovy, right? Oh my gosh, let me collect these real quick. Okay, back. Back to business. Senpai go <sighs> I wish I had his card. No. Uh. Okay, my evolution. Wow. Beautiful. Flowery. And now, Idia. Guys, I hope you're watching. This is my evolution. Oh, so pink. <gasps> ah, we actually see the light duty model for it. Oh my god. Whoever was responsible for this idea is a genius. What just happened? The fairy in the middle, his outfit changed. I didn't sense any magic at all. Is this the illusion? I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> I can tell I can see you're all surprised. But I'm not done yet. Oh flower petals! Wait, he didn't just change the color of his outfit. I can smell flowers! It's just like spring. He's giving out the scent of spring itself. Ooh. Also, what happened last live? I joined right when you left. Oh, I did like a couple, like two or three chapters, and then I had to go because I had to help my mom or something. Yeah. Or this fit is so detailed, it's very epic. Yeah, whoa, yeah, he's literally spinning right now. Yeah, he's so beautiful. Hey, Zumba, 10 second water break. Went back to Zumba for the next half hour. Okay, Ortho's cheering for you. You got this far out. Okay. <laughs> oh, a little pose. White flowers that turn light like pink and glow. Oh, I see. It's like when the snow thaws. The snow has melted. Spring is here. Woohoo! An outfit inside and in light as white as snow. Then the snow thaws and the flowers bloom. Everyone's beloved spring arrives. It's not just about eagerly waiting for the snow to melt. It's about showing what happens after. Blooming is how I think of evolution. Oh my god. This is the original inspiration I found after all my pondering. Oh my gosh. Genius. Genius ortho. Spring ortho. <laughs> wow. Now there are little birds and butterflies floating about. It feels... It really feels like spring is here. Oh, how my heart soars. Aww. Yes, let's all celebrate spring together. Oh my gosh. Whenever I see... <sighs> it's nice the birds and butterflies to join in as well. The audience is delighted. We're putting on a truly wonderful show. Bay, humans, humanoids, I can tell that even the animals, bugs, and plants are overjoyed at the coming of spring. Bro, this takes me back to when I used to play, um, Pixie Hollow. Just, like, the background and the fairy- oh my gosh. And, like, the plotline, some- it seems- it's, like, super similar to what I used to see back in- when I used to play Pixie Hollow. Oh my gosh. So long time ago. <laughs> Butterfly, fairy, ortho, yeah. What a wonderful spectacle. At this moment, everyone at the Fair Gala is unified as one. Oh, let's see the reactions. Ortho's outfit changed! Heh, <laughs> they maintain the fairy's flowery sensibilities without sacrificing any details. They've evoked the future by making the flowers bloom! Yeah, I miss Pixie all so much. Yeah, me too! Don't you see? That is Ortho's idea of evolution. Oh, quit baggering about something you didn't learn. Earn. Ooh. Ortho swapped out some of the materials on his body with flexible displays. Normally his body is white, but when he flips the switch, it changes color. 
That's something only Ortho could do. He's projecting a matching backdrop across the whole venue too. That's a really amazing thing to do. <laughs> Technology-wise, being able to do that is crazy. It's similar to the trick they'll use to make the queen disappear. Working out the positioning and timing was tough, though. Ortho, you... You made that gear yourself? Not by a long shot. The rest of us pitched in too, you know. Okay, Grim. What did you do? Eat tuna on the side? <laughs> There's no way you actually helped. Come on. I know I did. I just lent a helping hand. Yeah, makes sense. He managed this just fine with all of you and didn't come to me at all. He's a genius, alright? You couldn't find a more perfect little brother if you tried. Oh my god! <gasps> Booksick is gonna tear me apart, bro. Anything wholesome between these two brothers? Just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know forced enthusiasm when I hear it. You're actually sulking, aren't you? What? No, not at all. It's not that. Obviously, I'm happy Ortho pulled everything off. It's just... Pups grow right before our very eyes. <laughs> it seems like they'll be a handful forever, but then before you know it, they've grown into big, strong dogs. You can be sad about it, it's just a proof of how much you love them. There's nothing strange or wrong about it. Yeah. Wow, Professor Krill, I never knew you saw us that way. I mean, of course, he cares about you guys. Yeah, that's right, idiots speak the truth. They are so wholesome. Yeah, Bill better shut his mouth before he's afraid to look in the mirror. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he better. Holy crap, what a threat. I do, but I think he could stand to do a little more growing, Spade. Especially academically. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, would you look at that? The herbivores used their two collective brain cells and scrapped together a halfway decent show. I admit, I was surprised to see all those animals make such a timely entrance. How'd they manage that? <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I can't continue with what Leona said, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. With Silver's deep affinity for woodland creatures, obtaining their assistance was a trivial task. He's lived among the Fae for infancy. He's a human, but... There, you see that? It's the confident way he carries himself. He looks right at home amongst them. None of you could pull that off! Okay. None of you! <laughs> Again, would you cut it with the unearned bragging? <laughs> Putting aside Sebek's rude behavior, though we will thoroughly address it at a better time. Oh my gosh. Leona's right. It's a delightful show full of surprises. I can feel the audience excitement from here. They're just throwing shade left and right, all of them. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> They're gonna throw hands with everyone if this keeps it up, right? Send him into the water cycle. Brittle moment! <laughs> yeah. I wasn't expecting to feel so moved, but I do. Agreed. They might actually pull this off. Ooh. Let's be continued. So how are they gonna get the staff? That's the question. I have no idea. I'm just going with the flow. I have no clue of how any of this is gonna happen or unfold. Even more spectacular. Alright. I hope you're all enjoying the show. And I've got good news for you. We're not done yet. It's time to kick things up a notch with another evolution illusion. For this one, we'll need a volunteer from the audience. What do you say, your majesty? Oh, oh, hmm? Me? Er, your show's great and all, but we can't just hand over our dear queen to a group of strangers. Uh, of course, I understand how esteemed Her Majesty is. That's why I invited her to be our guest. Your Majesty, what would you say to, to being part of an illusion even more spectacular than the one we just did? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> well, your participation would really electrify the audience. And I promise it'll be worth your while, like nothing you've ever experienced before. Ace is so smooth, y'all. If he actually flirted like Malleus did with us, it would be over. There'd be so many Ace tans. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. Even though he's like a brat half of the time, and he's the reason why everything started. <laughs> but he is super smooth. You wouldn't want to miss out, would you? Come on, join the fun. But of course, if you'd rather not... I never said anything out of the sort. I like to give it a go. Your Majesty? 
I apologize for imposing upon you with my selfishness. But this show has been such a thrill for me. It brought me back to my days as a little fairy. I would love nothing more than to take part in it. Hmm, I'd rather you didn't, but it's completely understandable. True, I've never seen such a delightful show before. That's the spirit. Now step up, up, now step up, now step on up here. Oh my god, I can't say it. <laughs> if Ace had less of a mischievous personality, I would have liked him more. Oh, yeah. Ace said, come on up here, your majesty, with Riz, right? <laughs> yeah. He's, I don't know. Whenever he, like, teases us, it gives me really strong little brother vibes. You know what I mean? And it's just like, ugh. If only you were, like, more mature, then I would like it, but he's not. And that's how he is, so there's no use changing it. I would like Ace more if he had changed his haircut. Ooh, what kind of haircut would you like uh, for Ace? Because I know, I've seen the back, have you seen the back of, of Ace's head? It looks like a crab, <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh yeah, his hair, yeah. Um, allow me to hold your staff during the illusion. Oh, but the staff is very precious. I could not simply hand it over. However you are, it's a lovely staff. Why, I was just admiring how much it suited your majesty. And that's why we need to take care of it, so that it doesn't get lost or broken during the illusion. There's a huge crowd watching. You would never lose a track of it, right? Don't worry, you can trust me with it. I suppose your points are sound enough. Very well. I shall leave the staff in your hands. I'll guard it with my life, your majesty. <laughs> Ace Rizzolia <laughs> strikes again! <laughs> oh god. Ace is too silly. His hair is literally the color of salmon. Yeah, maybe Floyd's onto something. Crab, yeah. Ace traps. <laughs> Trap Riz. <laughs> Ace trap Riz. Oh my gosh. What's this? The star of the next illusion will be Her Majesty? What will happen next? The whole audience is watching with a bated breath. Welcome, Your Majesty. It's an honor to have you. Why, thank you. Shall we do? What shall you have me do? I'd like you to stand here and wave to the audience. That's all you have to do. That's it? Truly? Yep. While you're doing that, I'm going to make you disappear. All without using magic. No way. Is that even possible? Surely you can't make someone disappear without magic. <laughs> there are things in the world even more amazing than magic, you know. Here goes. Okay. Three, two, one. Her Majesty the Queen has now been drawn into a mystical realm. <laughs> Her, Her Majesty, she's vanished. Science time, yep. I think Ace totally rolled a nat 20 on his charms with check. He most definitely broke. He is a smooth talker, he is very charming, he knows to lie his way out of things. It's per oh my god. Perfect for spy mission, right? Okay. Alright, now they have to steal it, right? Exceptional illusion. I'm running out of potion things, but it's okay. We're nearing the end. Okay. Here goes! <clears throat> Three, two, one, yep. Her Majesty the Queen has now been drawn into a mystical realm. Her, Her Majesty, she's vanished! Where, oh where has our queen gone? Is she safe? Truly? I have vanished? But I'm standing right here. Can you not see me? Huh? I can't see the queen, but I can hear her. She's definitely still on stage. So she simply faded from sight. The audience is riveted. This is like nothing we've ever seen before. <laughs> now! Preparation roll two for real. Yeah, for real. Oh, oh, we're, oh, we're supposed to steal. Oh, okay. Oh. Got it. Swap complete. Now to hide the real staff be behind the tree off to the side. Worry not, everyone. We'll return Her Majesty right back to where she was. Three, two, one, presto! <laughs> Snatched, yeah. The queen popped back onto the runway in an instant. What a truly exceptional illusion! Oh boy. 
to think we witnessed something so amazing. First a fashion show that ushered in spring, and now a disappearing queen. Incredible. That's one show I won't ever forget. Thank you all so much for watching our show. Did you enjoy it? Yeah! Woo <laughs> Glad to hear it. Thank you for your generous assistance. Your Majesty, here is your staff. And thank you for putting on such a lovely show today. This has been 1A251B111C292A22. Goodbye, folks. <laughs> I can't not take that name soon. Time to split. Just follow the plan. Oh, they gotta escape. I'll use the optical fit camouflage to conceal the staff. I can conceal the queen. Here, Jack Howell, you carry it. Oh my god. They're listening to Sneaky Snitch by Kevin Malloy. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, though. Yeah. Pink Panther theme plays. Yeah. Right. Alright, here we go. Uh, uh, Jack, why are you tilting your head back like that? G got some fairy dust up my nose. Huh? <laughs> Uh, uh, no, check out the protection will be distributed if you make any sudden movements. And you! Oh no. Uh. <laughs> hey, isn't that fairy holding the queen's staff? It just popped up out of nowhere. Oh, oh my god. But the queen's got her staff. There's two of them. Ace, Ace. Ace, you gotta say something, Ace. <laughs> oh, I know he's gonna sneeze. Uh oh, spaghettios. Yep. Wait a minute. Looking him, looking at him more closely, he's no fae at all. Uh oh. Oh crud! I must have shook off my fairy dust when I sneezed. You there? Hand over the staff at once. Mm, comparing the two, the mage stones have a slight difference in shimmer. It appears my staff has been replaced with a fee fax. Vaccine? A fake, right? How dare these humans steal her majesty's staff! They snuck into the fairy gala for their own nefarious scheme! Oh my god. So much for our amazement, I bet that show was just a bunch of underhanded flimmy farmery too! Oh no... Ace, roll another crit! No, they lost their wrist! Yeah, no, they lost it! They're slipping! Boo! Boo! Oh damn, that's harsh. <laughs> okay, I've had it up to here with all this. Where do you get off calling us underhanded? This mage stone is valuable school property that you all stole first. Oh, fam, fam, smile, vex, meal, smile, simile. Vex simile means exact copy, BTW. Okay, got it. Ace, don't. No, I might have been, I might have bungled our whole plan, but I'm with Ace on this. All we did was try to take back what was rightfully ours. That's right, and we're trying to do it with a nice show, so that we wouldn't spoil the mood for you fairies. <laughs> Thanks, Holly, for the follow. You call us nefarious, but you have no clue why we did it. I don't have to take this. Uh oh, he's pulling another, another uh, Ace versus Riddle moment. I'm having flashbacks to book one right now. <laughs> Can you believe their their righteous indignation? I was ready to let it go if they admitted it and apologized, but not after all that. This is the problem with humans. You want to try saying that to Muckface? Oh shoot. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna fight. <laughs> oh. We're all getting more flashbacks, yeah. What a development! What oh, was just a scene of memory is now a scene of strife! <laughs> oh my god, the commentator is having a field day right now. You could cut the tension with a knife! Any spark will set off a free for all! Oh no, what do we do? Throwing hands at the fairies, let's go! Uh oh. Meanwhile, at school. <laughs> Everyone just <laughs> sitting in silence? Uh oh. <laughs> just when I thought they succeed. Not only do they screw it up, but they double down and mouth off as well. <laughs> no! <laughs> Bite them or the dauntist! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. You got over the dauntus. <laughs> you're not wrong. <right. laughs> Orthodontists do have, you know, biting and orthodontists are very similar. <laughs> they are in similar contexts. Uh oh, not the disappointed silence, right? Not that. What a disaster. We're finished. They were so close. 
Does this mean the gal is off? So Twisted Mountain is never gonna have another spring? Those fairies are ticked! There's no telling what they'll do. Ortho, ditch those guys and run! <laughs> oh, idiot! You can't just say that! How could Jack screw up such a critical moment? I've got some words for him when he gets back. <laughs> I just... I take full responsibility for entrusting them with such an important mission. Losing spring would be dire indeed. Our school may not survive all the pup uh, sen public censure and have to be shut down. Oh my gosh. Don't give up hope. Well, guys, it's been real. <laughs> These are two drastic choices. Oh my god. <laughs> what happened? Wait, actually... <laughs> I'm gonna pick the funnier option just because it's funnier. Well, guys, it's been real. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Come on, you you can't throw in a towel that fast. Please, hold on. Hmm? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> Just get rid of the dumbest part. Whoopsie doodles, I got too silly. Jack, run for your life. It's been so real, right? You said, alright, I'm gonna head out. Literally. <laughs> Okay, full of responsibility. Oh, I, I think I have to play more Twist Tunes. I don't have enough to finish, I think. Bontonical Garden. Right. Please hold on. Could you please listen to what I have to say? It's too late to start groveling now. You tricked us, you thieving scoundrel! Oh my gosh. Your Majesty, punish these humans! Miscreants! Whatever that means. Okay. Yes, we're human. It was wrong for us to deceive you, and we apologize for switching out the staff. The thing is, we need the maystone on that staff for our school to go back to normal. We thought making a secret switch was the only way to get it back without disturbing the gala. We knew it wasn't right, but we did it anyway. For that, I am truly sorry. Well, sorry isn't good enough. Having you non fay here is an affront to the whole gala. Ever since I was a young boy, I wish that Fae and humans could live together. Not just us either, I wish that all species could come together as one. There's someone near and dear to me who feels just the same, and I'm sure the whole school does as well. I should have stepped in and stopped this plan, but I feel the same way, you see, and... Where are you going with this? Well, you see... Ugh, it's difficult to explain. Anyway, the thing I wanted, all speeches laugh all speeches laughing and having a good time together happened during our show. You can call me a thief, I don't mind, but please try to remember one thing about Ortho and the others who put the show together. They tried their best to understand you and do understand you and do right by you. Please believe that, if nothing else. Silver I provided them with the fairy bells and enabled them to sneak into the gala. I accept full responsibility and punishment for this, so please let the others go. Oh my gosh, no! Such a good boy. You mentioned that this jewel is valuable to your group, is that true? Yes, your majesty. This jewel is highly valuable mage stone that is used to run our school. I had no idea. And you invited me on stage in order to claim the mage stone? Well, uh, that's right, your majesty. Our plan was to steal the staff while you acted as bait to keep the fairies distracted. You called me bait? <laughs> called the queen bait, holy crap. Couldn't you have worded that a little better? You're being too honest. I've heard what you have to say. And that's all, folks. We're screwed. <laughs> play the, play the, what is it? The Bugs Bunny outro? That's what it is. <laughs> Oh god. Sorry for messing this up. I'll take responsibility. You all run while I keep him busy. No, we're going back together. If it comes down to it, we'll just have to defeat every fairy here and break out the botanical guard. Oh my god, Ortho. What a marvelous display of evolution this was. Huh? <laughs> Ortho was about to eliminate everybody in that room, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's gonna start dropping the big LOL. Rudolph Lover. Thanks for the follow, Rudolph Lover. Hard to be as a Scooby-Doo gang, right? Queen is so beautiful. She is, yeah. Her design is peak. Mm-hmm. 
Hey queen, Lizan. Highly expensive mage stone with the wrist. Oh my god. No, but you get in line, I'm first. Oh, you guys are fighting over the queen now? Funny. <laughs> nah, I'm more about riddle. Okay. I think you got competition now. You have riddle over here. Okay. <clears throat> I apologize on behalf of the craft fairies who took your mage stone without permission. I'm sure they were so dazzled by its sparkling shimmer, they simply had to take it on my behalf. <laughs> Allow me to return it. Wait, what? There it is. Ooh. It's actually really pretty. Um, yes. This is it. Mage stone received. <laughs> Hooray! My fanfic OC's mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, the queen? Wait, I'm so confused. Who's the fanfic OC's mom? The queen? The queen is? <laughs> okay. Lovely. You're just giving it back? <laughs> Why, of course, and there shall be no punishments of any kind. If anything, I owe you all my gratitude. <laughs> thanks for the follows, you guys. Thanks, Sylvan, and thanks, Noel. Um, Queen, pretty cool, but like, yeah, too bad I got Riddle first. Oh no, you guys are fighting over Riddle now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> for what? For putting on an incredible show, allowing me to have the most delightful time. Especially you. Me? You put on a stirring performance that that uh, that demonstrated a true understanding of our kind, and you performed an illusion that left the whole audience awestruck, all without magic. The fairies could never have accomplished such a feat. It gave me a new respect for human culture, and that feeling represents something very special indeed. Evolution. Woo! And everybody claps. What's she talking about? <laughs> Beats me, but it sounds like we're back in her good graces. They're so lost. <laughs> Silver is so lost, too. He's like, what? <laughs> what a fun fairy gala. It was thrilling from the start to finish. I'm just giving them random voices now. I hope you'll wa wow us with another delightful show someday. <laughs> yes, your majesty. And when I do, I hope we'll all have even more fun together. Woo! Yay! Happy end! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> I have two of those stars and they're both group right? I only have one, so I will say okay. Can I please train my malice card with someone even though you can't? Oh, same. I wish they had a training system. But I'm on the character. AI chess. Ooh. Oh, bro. Did, did anybody make... I was I tried a character AI the other day. Um. Oh, was that it? That's the end? Oh, we didn't even get to see them go home or anything. That's it. Oh. Kind of makes me feel like the ending's kind of lacking, but... Hey, it was a good one. It's a good event. I liked it. 10 out of 10. Sebekuni. Lilia Senpai no deshi nara ba... Now... Kono shiroi fuku ni itten no shimi mo tsukeru na to iwareta. Aitsu ra shii gekirei da. There's one more? Really? Oh, is this... It, okay. Oh, the Because you all helped. Okay. So I need... I need twisters. Oh my god, I was so convinced. <laughs> Get back on the grind. There's one more chapter. Okay. Um, alright. I'll do this one. Oh, I don't have enough, uh... I need to go to lessons. Alright. Level up the boys so that you can get more bottles. I mean, I just do lessons, right? If I level them up, they won't give me b more bottles. Hold on, let me see. Do the missions give you bottles? No, they do not. They give you gems, though, if I play 10 Twisted. So let's do that. Let's just get some... No, wait, I can't. I need to do lessons. Oh my god. Focus! Oh my god. Focus rolls. Holy crap. You're all over the place. Alright, let's just go with... Actually... Let's do the daily because I do need to max up my um my their bond. I have a very special bond, you guys. Alright, let's uh, let's just do this and then while we wait for the lessons to finish, let's talk guys. Okay. Do you like chapter five riddle, lover? <laughs> Time to go to school, gang. Yeah. 
。終わったぜ。I have, I have died down six years where I started、uh, ス。しつけの時間だ。きんだ。わずかなんだ。去年もやった。はながバカになりそうだ。バカにするのよ。ぬきうちだ。I'm not sure. I'm not really into the air. Yeah, it's a bit random, but you can read their stuff. Oh, okay, I see. Some of them have them like specific personalities, but other than that, it's not really too bad. I'm not sure. 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 So maybe it'll create a personality if you feed it enough voice lines. Oi, Temoto. Kemri. Sensei, Oshie de Grio. Is there really that many Marines cars out in the Inside? I don't think so. Let me see. Twisted or not, man? Okay. Oh, still got a back at a Taix no Jigoda. I'm pretty sure that we, we, we don't even have an SSR card of Mallory's out yet. right? Like he and Lilia are. I mean, the entire day, he has money as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we only have five, six, seven, seven cards out for Mallory's in the Ian server currently. Good boy! Is he the one with the least amount of cards out? I wonder. Thanks, Bubbles, Bubble, for following. Oh, a single one. His birthday is firework. Oh my god. In the end, I don't have JP. Oh, okay. I got him flustered within my first two minutes. I've seen two clips of like, character AI like, being extremely flirty. Like, straight up. Like, and they like, write like, long texts and paragraphs and all that. No SSR DS money. Yeah. They don't release any SSR until they have their book done, which is unfortunate. I want Eddie to come home, but it's always nice to get to the end. Oh, I feel, I feel for you. Jimil always comes home for me and my beloved, and that was it for him. I asked if he was okay, and then we start dating. Yo, get this bed away from me. Hate a restraining order on Malleus. Gosh, um, flirting with AI idiot was a trip, man. I can't even. Oh, no. I think my first interaction with like a twisted character AI in general was like, was like an AI idea. And I asked him like, yo, what if I put water on your hair? And he just, he was like so standoffish. I'm like, bro, why are you so edgy? Who made you like this? Who did you talk? I'm out, yay, oh! Ah, yay! Sorry, I saw that message really late. Okay. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I think that's kind of hilarious, bro. 
Alright, let me see. So America has seven cards. Then let's see what. Next is the Ogyoji Club Dorm. SSR, right? Let's see. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to go to the next one. Yep. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. There's a lot of SRs, actually. Yeah, he has way more than、uh, Melius. Lilia does. Okay, how about. Hanaga Baga ni nari so da. Then Zul Sar calls me on our woman side. Lagi ga suki so da. Hey, oh, what? Please do, I want to live with you. Lagi ga suki so da. Melius, oh my god. Hagen de masu ne. No, um. Tsugi wa ogyogi kara oshie. Then he told me about his, his trauma. Oh, I see. I'm mass crashing in his birthday, right? Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, yeah, so Becky even has more cards in the end server than Lilia, too. Damn. What about Silver? I'm curious. Sorry, I'm just looking through how, who has like, the least amount of cards in the wiki. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32,
I got him pregnant. Jo what are you talking about, Nova? Who? Mothers? What? Huh? Can I really just be letting you do anything? Uh, 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 okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just erase off my mind. Okay, we're good. <laughs> well, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> right? I just read started the Twitch app. Oh, I see. Yeah. It sucks. But you can't, it can't be helped either. I didn't do too much, really. If anything, I should be thanking you. Oh my god, Sliver is not sleeping away right now. Snoozing off. Look, we're coming up on the halls and mirrors. I'll see you guys in class tomorrow, okay? Bye for now! Alright. Nice cards. Basically all the cards. Ooh, I see. Oh! Jack is here! Oh, there's one more? Actually, it's just a twist tune, right? Yeah, it's just a twist tune. So this is just for completion. But yay! I did it! Woohoo! Alright, guys. Now it's time. Oh, Sleeping Silver, yeah. Now it's time, you guys. I really, really... What is this? No, not stories. Oh my god. No. I mean, twist tune. I meant mirror. <clears throat> Not Appel's birthday, sorry Appel. Not that one either, sorry Appel. Not this one either. We're gonna poll here. Because I really want to read what happens. Okay. <clears throat> Took me forever to get Mallory's birthday. 97 polls? Damn. Goodbye, Ortho. Yeah. It's an accident. I got him on my first poll. Oh, really? I made Riddle AI. He rizzed me up and gave me three Bugattis. <laughs> Yo. Fingers are crossed for you, bro. I saved the entire year for him. You got this, Rose. Thank you! I need it all. I wonder if I still have... Do I still have my summoning, summoning circle? Yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> this is my summoning circle. I don't know if you see it, but I'm gonna put it right... Right here, so you can kind of see it. it. Really blends really well into the background, but yeah. All right, come home. Anybody? I only have one. I think I only have two ten poles, and after that, I only have one single pole, and it's over. It's over for me after that. So please, I don't have a lot. Please be nice. Please be nice. Please be nice. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Look through the valley. Okay. You know, people were saying how amazing SSR Dorm Silver finished. If only there was no Zoom. Yeah. Oh, 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 is this it? Is this it? Is this a big one? I saw red. I saw red. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's actually not clipping. Oh my god. I'm actually happy if I get Ortho or any by the way. Either one is fine with me. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh! That was an indication. Yeah, red sparkles is an indication that you get an SSR. SSR. Oh my god. Please. Please, God. Please, please, please. Please. Who? Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh, it's this one! <gasps> oh! 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 <laughs> we both got Ortho. Nice! Steamer luck maxed out. Damn! Bro, this is the only time my streamer luck actually worked. <laughs> I'm so happy now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yay! You beat anybody up. Let's go! <laughs> okay, let's see the rest of the polls. Oh my god, this summoning circle actually worked and it 
Actually, that's the first time it ever worked. <laughs> Ruin, oh, no, so sorry for that ortho. Yeah. But I'm fine with that. I heard the dorm SSRs was really nice to read. Oh, and I got a regular ortho. Nice. <laughs> oh! An SR? Oh, Riddle! Hello! And a cocktail. Nice. Hey, you be so cute. And I'm very glad Otho came home in one pull too. Nice! Look at that little guy. Otho will get another SSR real not fake. No, <laughs> no, no way. That's too much luck. That's too much luck. The real talk brought him to you. Really, for real. <laughs> Jamil? Yep, of course. There's always a Jamil, no matter what. <laughs> no matter what pull I do, the Jamil will always be there without fail. What a loyal man. Video. Okay. Wow. <sighs> I can't believe I did it. <laughs> Dorm SSR is such a troll too. Also, oh, also, also what? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. That that's a nice way to end the stream, you guys. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Actually, let me let's go back over here. I wonder. I'm not gonna pull anymore because I want to save up for the next events coming up too. Um, are you gonna try for Idia as well? I want Idia so bad too, but with my luck, no way he's coming. Should I pull again? I don't. I don't think I should. Right. Also, imagine another SSR. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I wish. I wish I could get another SSR, but that's too much. I'm asking for too much. If I get two SSRs this day. My luck for the rest of the month is just gone. Roll a dice? Roll a dice? Okay. Or flip a coin. Let's flip a coin instead. Because it's either roll or not to roll, right? Okay. Heads and tails. What should heads be? Heads uh, means go on ahead and roll. And tails means do not roll. Okay. Oh, so that's why I thought you did that one. No, I didn't do it. I, I wanted this one specifically, so yeah. Okay. Got uh, SSR juice on my second pull. Yeah, flip a coin. Heads for pull. Okay. Alright. I got tails. So, that's not happening. <laughs> yep. It's not happening. Sorry, guys. Alright. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna end the stream here, you guys. Uh, let me, let me go to cards. I wanna check out the card. Where is it? Is ortho room? Yeah, save up. Yeah, saving up. Saving up is good, you guys. You know, it's important to save up. Okay, but this means is ortho. Let me see. Well, good night then. Yeah, good night. Bye. At least ortho's here. Yeah, I just want to check one thing with ortho's card. Can you? Because I know in book six. I have so much trouble with book six because so let's just go to it. Um, where is it? Here it is. At least you got Ortho, yeah. Goodbye, Rose. Bye. Save up to be ultra mega rich. Yay. Uh, yeah. May I have a? Uh, oh, d I don't have a Discord. But if you want to like invite me to a Discord server, go ahead. I only have Instagram DMs. Uh, I have TikTok DMs. I have Twitter DMs. I have a lot of DMs, but I don't, uh, but if you want, you can invite me to a Discord, or, yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure, also, I think someone here made a Discord too, you guys can hang out with each other there, uh, and you can invite me as well too, it's cool if you don't want to though, I totally understand, okay, I think this part right here, let me see, where's the details, I can't see the details of the game, there was something about like um like in the battle they'll they'll do like uh make you whiff on purpose. I forgot what was it called. But does Ortho do that? Because I know Idia does that. Oh, so where the chat? Oh, the chat is on is on TikTok. I'm streaming on TikTok. I don't know. Do you see that on the bottom? That's where they are. Maybe I should put them. I should put you guys next to each other. There they are. There you guys are. 
be buddies. Twitch and TikTok be buddies, you guys. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah. My Swiss user is just Nova, and my support, my support is my level 76. Riddle. Ooh, okay. Let me add you. Does anyone else want to be added? Sebekuni. Before I go, let me Lilia Senpai no Deshina. I think we might be friends. Wait a minute. Um, player name. No. Oh, there's a lot of Novas. Damn. I don't see a 90. 76 riddle. Well, this is the. This is the only riddle here, right? Yeah, okay. Request. 15 months ago? Looks like I'm a gymnast now. Okay, I'm gonna send that invite to you if it's not you. Okay. <clears throat> oh, see, I don't have to tell you. If I turn down my dad, does I wonder why? Oh. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have been posting a lot recently in the past, like, months. I've been working on homework and here my day sending off of recalls from TikTok. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. Um, twist, I, a, U, I, D, is, E, S, scroll down some, my caption is avid flora trip. Oh! Avid flora. I don't see it. Avid flora? I don't see that. I'm that one, I'm ranked 39. Wait, I just added you. Oh, okay. I'm reading the past chats. Okay. Um, I am me. I think someone put their UID up there, right? Let's see. Fana, do I have you added as well? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm gonna guess you're the rank 80 for sure. You were just on 15 minutes ago. Okay. Alright. Um, okay. Okay. And then the UID one. Okay, so I have to just switch to clear. Did you friend me? My name is Peony with the middle from I don't think I have you added. Maybe I don't do whatever. Alright, I added you. Let's see. Oh wait, outgoing request. Oh, that's me. Oh, okay. and then I have a friend here. Okay. And then P. Let's see. My name, guys, by the way, is Ross Ember with one E in the middle instead of two. If you want to add me. I have a 103 level Kaleen. No? Did I spell that wrong? P- yeah. I spelled it wrong. P-E-O-N. And I press there. Riddle profile. Riddle, riddle, riddle. Where's riddle? Riddle's not here. That means I must have added you, right? Let me check. Fine. Found you, not surprised your support is Kaleen yet. <laughs> Pretty easy. Hi, hi, what's up? If need be, I'll go get my friend code. Okay. I mean, I, if I if I couldn't find you via username, then I probably have you added. I'm just checking. I wish I could... Uh, wait, can I search this by last login? Let's do that. It's more likely I'll find you that way. Haha, <laughs> PP. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Audrey, your mom. PJ, Lizette, Jada, Kimli, Kenne, Kimiko, um, Ghost, Lithley, Croc, Karma, Hepsu, Polina, Hydra, Juno, Mr. Yeah, no, I don't have you. Okay. Let's go and add that one. Got it! Nice! Okay. Am I missing anybody else? I added Mistra, I added you Nova, I added you Ibai, I added adding you right now. Bruh. I'm really OP you guys, you do want me on your team. I'm just I'm just putting it out there. Five, six, okay. Okay. There he is. 
Here you are. Maybe I need to capitalize it? I don't know. Okay, but that's it. I think I got everybody. Oh, okay. Me Why is it showing up on the screen? Oh. How much do you like can you know the screen? Let me send it by letters. Oh. Okay. I think I added Genova, by the way. Um, did I not? M E A. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Sorry. D A W. Not. H. C. There! Done. Okay. And then... Hopefully I can fill out my first one. Oh, approved. Nice! Okay. Uh, I'm rank 40? Okay. M, X. A, Turkey. You. Nine. Alright. Rank 40. Woo! Yeah! Okay, there we go! Oh my god! You have the riddle twist! Oh my gosh, okay. I have a lot of riddles now, which is nice. I think I have some good cards with a uh, riddle. I think I also have like one, one of the no ones like, big, big Jamil stand. Okay, I think that's it. I'll end stream soon, riddle. Yeah! And for the next one, if all right, I'm um, one one more round. Anyone else wants to add me before I go? Going once, going twice, going thrice. I'll usually I'll give you guys three seconds to respond because I know there's delay. But yeah, thanks you guys for coming. Uh, if there's anyone who wants to leave their user ID, do it before I end stream. Get it in the chat before I end stream because can I add you too? Yeah, go ahead. Actually. This is easier, right? If I just show my profile, you guys can take a screenshot and then add me, and I'll add, I'll add you guys when I log, next time I log in. Let me know if you need any sort of SSR. I'll try to pull them up if I have them. Mostly I have SSR doors. Ooh. Okay, I. If you have idiot SSR, that'd be great. That'd be great. Oh, because I kind of do. I'm kind of new on the Twitch community. Yeah, use me. <laughs> I have the best title as of today too. A thousand lessons with Riddle? Oh my gosh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was playing Twist since the beginning. Beginning. I was so hyped when it first came. I should probably change that. Okay, someone was probably screenshotting my bad. Oh, I can't add emojis. Okay. <clears throat> Can I add you later? Thank you. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm a regular, so I guess I'll see you more often. Yeah. Welcome to... Welcome El... What is it? El Basi? El, El Basi? Oh, thank you for following me. Uh, El Basi, welcome to the Twisted Wonderland community. You're gonna be at home here. <laughs> okay. Add the sparkles to clean? Oh, yeah. I would have if I could. Okay. Try doing the heart. Oh, yeah. I should do that. Okay. But thank you guys for coming. Tomorrow I'll do book six. So spoiler warning. Uh, if you guys don't wanna tune in tomorrow, because I'm gonna be playing, I'm gonna try to finish book six. But yeah. Bye guys. Good night. Good luck. Bye bye bye.